1999, Dubai put itself on the map with what was then the world's tallest and first ever seven-star hotel. But that's now seen as a warm-up. In the years since, the city has laid claim to the world's largest mall, largest fountain, twistiest tower, longest airport terminal, longest urban zipline, tallest building, world's largest acrylic panel, longest driverless metro system, largest picture frame, tallest vertical maze, largest man-made island, and highest infinity pool and restaurant. It's taken the title of the world's tallest hotel from itself four times, has more super tall skyscrapers than any other city on Earth, and will soon be home to the world's tallest observation wheel. But taller, further, larger and higher has all become a bit samey for the city, and the latest addition to its record-breaking rap sheet goes in a completely different direction. Allowing divers to plunge 60 meters below the surface, Dubai is now home to the world's deepest pool, complete with a sunken city. Go just beyond the southern edge of downtown Dubai and you'll find a strange oyster-shaped building, the home of Deep Dive Dubai. Nodding to the country's pearl diving history and covering an area of more than 1,500 square meters, it houses increasingly deeper pool levels, all culminating in a shaft that extends 18 stories below the surface. Officially measuring 60.02 meters deep and holding 14 million liters of water, the pool smashes the previous record set by Poland's 45 meter deep spot, which only held the title for seven months after opening in December 2020. Perhaps even more impressive is that all that water is circulated through siliceous volcanic rock and a NASA-developed filtration system every six hours. It's also treated with UV lights and holds a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius for diver comfort all year round. To call this simply a pool kind of diminishes what lies beneath the surface. First, there are two underwater habitats where divers can explore and resurface within underwater dry chambers at the 6 and 21 meter mark. Not to exclude those overcome with a fear of the deep, the first 12 meters can be viewed through a series of large windows. Divers can wave to their friends, keeping dry on the other side. Getting deeper into things, the pool starts to become a bit more Dubai. The post-apocalyptic themed sunken city depicts an abandoned world. There's an apartment and garage connected by a flooded staircase and an entire streetscape that increasingly deteriorates the deeper you go. Topping it all off, or rather bottoming it all out, is a 20 meter deep plunge shaft reserved for only the most accomplished divers. Normally, only blue and green light wavelengths can penetrate this deep, but wayfinding lights and speakers help provide visibility the whole way down. There's also 56 underwater cameras, partly for safety, but also for playing a feed on screens around the building and capturing the experience for divers to take home once they resurface. Speaking of resurfacing, the facility includes a hyperbaric chamber that can be used to treat decompression sickness for up to 10 people at a time. Dubai is a city that likes to shout about its achievements, but it's got there in part by keeping things under wraps. Developers ward off competitors by not revealing the exact heights, or in this case depth, of their projects until they're pretty much finished. Being much easier to hide away than, say, the world's tallest building, construction of the pool went largely unnoticed, so much so that even one of the world's most popular diving forums failed to mention that it was even on the horizon when covering the opening of Deep Spot back in 2020. Yeah, a friend of mine told me I had to check out this pool. Little was really known about it until Will Smith posted about his visit on Instagram, so details about how it was constructed are thin. However, when it comes to building a record-breaking pool, there are some universal traits that they all have in common. Working from the top down, the process is essentially like constructing pools within pools. As the first chamber is excavated and lined with concrete, it becomes the launch point for the next chamber, and those chambers become progressively smaller the deeper the pool goes, all culminating in the narrow dive shaft. 
Due to the amount of pressure the shaft will be under when the pool is filled, it's formed from a precast concrete tube that's reinforced with a further 1.5 meters of concrete around it. The whole thing is designed to move and settle in the ground once the weight of the water is added. And divers are advised not to travel more than 300 meters above sea level within 24 hours of visiting. So don't book your trip up the Burj Khalifa later in the day. I think we, we aspire to, to do with Deep Dive Dubai is, is make diving accessible to all, all visitors of the city, all residents in the city. We, we, we already have a thriving diving community which we hope to, to grow and we hope for all of them to call this, uh, this place home. The pool's not just a tourist attraction, it's also now the Middle East's largest underwater film studio, complete with edit suites and video galleries, and a global research site for divers to develop their skills. That's actually part of a wider trend across Dubai to further diversify the city's economy and appeal beyond tourism. Of course, it'll be a while before we can see how effective that strategy is. In the meantime, Deep Dive Dubai will remain the latest in a long line of record-breaking construction projects until the next one comes along. If you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, Subscribe to the B1M.